All right, hey everybody, today's action is all about the brackets. We need to make sure that we understand how to use brackets, because if we don't know how to use brackets, big trouble ahead, okay? So in the earlier video, I showed you how when things are like this, that means it's multiplied together, right? So two times four would be eight, or four times two would be eight, okay? Piece of cake. We're gonna extend off of that into dealing with exponents. First thing we need to remember in exponents is that this is the exponent and this is the base. Um, this exponent applies to everything that is the bracket. So this really is the same as whatever the brackets was two times. Likewise for this, this exponent applies to whatever the brackets are. So two times. First of all, we'll start on this side. Inside the brackets, we have a minus 4. So inside the brackets, we have a minus 4. We're asking ourselves, is this, are these the same, right? Does this equal this? So I'm just going to show a question mark there. Um, this side, inside the brackets, we have just a 4. And so I'll put it twice, because the 2 shows, means that we're doing it times it by itself twice. Now, so this is great. We've taken care of this area, but we haven't taken care of this yet. So because we haven't made it vanish or, or worked it out, it's still there. Okay, so on the next line I'm showing that it's still there. We've taken care of everything inside the brackets, right here and here. There's nothing, there's nothing out here, so we don't have to put anything out here. It's fine the way it is. So I can really just kind of erase that. So our left side we have this, our right side we have this. So of course, this is already uh, um, something that you should be aware of already. Two negatives, a negative times a negative is a positive, so you're at a positive and a four times four is a 16. Now this here, four times four is 16. I'm gonna keep it in brackets just to keep things straightforward. We haven't gotten rid of this negative sign yet, so it's still there. So what this means, when you see a negative bracket, that's the same as saying negative one times the bracket. That is, negative anything is the same as negative one times anything. Okay? Negative sign bracket is the same as negative one bracket. We are lazy math people and we're smart with our shortcuts, which is what I tell you all the time. So we don't need to draw in the one, so we just ignore it. So where are we at here? Minus 1 times positive 16 equals negative 16. This side was positive 16. We ask ourselves, does positive 16 equal negative 16? Obviously it doesn't. So therefore, therefore, therefore we know that if we ask ourselves, is negative 4 squared equal to negative 4 in the beginning? Is negative 4 squared equal to negative 4 squared? The answer is no. <clears throat> I'll restate it. This does not equal this. Done. 